Hello, we are going to go over the level two floor routine um, and talk about some of the things that you should be focusing on with your kids um, and making sure that they're doing them correctly and getting them ready for levels past level two because level two is hopefully not the end goal. Um, we're going to have them start with their feet in parallel. Their dominant arm goes behind their back. Their non-dominant arm goes out to the side and their focus, which means where their eyes are looking, is down that non-dominant arm. So this is their starting pose. From here, the music starts and they have to wait a second. It goes like, wait, wait, wait. That's what I tell the kids to sing in their head. Um, so they go, wait, wait, wait. And we're gonna go into a pose. This pose is a contraction pose. So they have to be super round here. I tell them to think about like if they were getting punched in the gut. Um, so that's the contraction there. Plie through the legs and put their middle fingers together. So fingers, just gymnastics fingers from there to here, but there's a contraction. So that's first pose. Second pose, T. Make sure arms don't go too high, too low. Straight side middle there, T. Legs are back to being straight. Then, point. Arms come upward to high, um, and the foot points in the front. Just like on balance beam, I have them turn their foot slightly out when we go into point. So they put the weight through the back leg here in a point. Everything's in a straight line. This leg's just for show. It's just gonna show us the direction that we're going. And point. So the beginning part, wait, wait, wait. Pose, T, point. You can do a lunge. We have our kids do a mountain climber. So at any point that I do a mountain climber position, you can have your kids do a lunge if that's what you prefer. We go point, mountain climber, cartwheel, step, whoop, together. From here, they're going to reach tall first, then backward roll into a push-up position. This part's a little confusing. They're going to bring the knees in, arms up. As the arms come up, their butt is still on their heels up to crown. Then we're going to lift the hips up and the arms are going to come back behind our bottom. Happy hand goes on your hip and lift the happy foot or the dominant foot in front of you to this kneeling position. This arms are going to come up, kind of like a nice round little crown, like a half crown. And look over the dominant shoulder. So I'm going to go over that again. Push up position. Knees in, arms up, arms back, and pose. That's what I say, that's kind of how the rhythm of it works. So putting that first part all together. You know, wait, wait, wait. Pose, T, point. Mountain climber, cart wheel, step together. Backward roll to a push up position. Knees in, arms up, arms back, and pose. Next, we're going into the turn sequence. So from the post, we're gonna go point. This should be a nice round frame. You don't wanna have them go too close to their body, because if you think about a turn, when we come up here, or when we go here, we stay really round with the shoulders nice and pressed down. That's what that position is. So have them learn this position, or this position, and then just leave the dominant arm this one out to the side. So we're in pose and point. Nice round frame. Step. Passe. Up. Down. Heel snap. Down. Step. Releve. Hug pose. Lock. Okay, let's go over that again. Here's the point, the round arm, and the good frame. We go step, passe. In the passe, you're looking for a parallel leg to the ground. So this knee's gotta be up high. Can't have it drooping. Parallel. Then we're gonna push through heel, middle of foot, and then toe to get up onto that releve. You see the weight transfer there, and it's kinda probably hard to see. But heel, middle of foot, push through the front. Push the ankle flat. That's how you get onto a releve. It's kinda what I think when I go into a releve to help with the wobbles, because if I just think lift, then I don't have pressure in the right part of my foot. So I think pressure through the heel, through the middle, and then 
up through the front. So it's more of a press up to releve and then lower back down. Now the arms close, just nice round position, so we're not here. Nice round position, heel snap, heel down, step, hug. So the heel has to come back down after the heel snap. Now we're in the passe with a flat heel, and then we do T for tippy toes. Lock, hug, and they're grabbing their shoulder blades there. Now we're going into the leap part. So we're in this nice pose. From here we're gonna have a nice sharp movement, and we're gonna go point. Now when I say that point, weight goes onto the back foot. This foot's just for show, it's just showing you the direction that we're about to go. Arms are gonna go out to that T in this point. So I say point, and this is their non-dominant foot because we're about to do a chasse leap, and we want to do the chasse with our non-dominant leg so that the leap's gonna happen on our dominant leg. So that's confusing for kids to put their non-dominant leg out. You just have to drill it into their head. So silly foot point, plie, chasse, plie, leap, step through plie, pose. Let's go over that leap pass again. You want to see the deep plie into the chasse and watch how many feet are turned out. It's like a curtsy. Plie, point, land on the back leg, then transfer through to the front leg, again turned out. Here comes the leap. Swing the leg through, plie, arms down, pose. Both legs straight. Point the back foot under. Hands like this, crossed over. So up to speed, that should look like point, plie, chasse, leap, step, pose. From here, we're going to go to a crown position as we put our feet together. Crown, straight up there. So pose, crown, arms side, middle, down, or sideward, downward, to low, plie. Now as we do the plie, shoulders above your butt, above your heels. That's the plie position we're looking for into the split jump. Well, I'm doing balance beam. You see what I mean? <laughs> Make sure you're doing floor. Plie, split jump. Now arms are gonna land. When you land, your arms are gonna be out to the side. Finish. So putting that whole leap pass together with the split jump. We go hug, point, plie, chasse, leap, step, Pose, crown, plie, split jump, land. Really? Okay, I was wrong. Split jump, land, arms go down, and then finish, finish arms in a V. Then, mountain climber or lunge, handstand, hold, split, not that. <laughs> Mountain climber, handstand, hold, split. We have our kids step together, you can land in a lunge, finish in the V. Candlestick, hands either here or up above your head, roll up to this nice pike sit, legs tight, feet together pointed, lay down. Everything can be bent as they lay down, bridge up, and they do a kick over. We have our kids step together. You can finish in a lunge, finish, crown, or do they just stay in a crown? Do they finish the kick over or do they stay in a crown? I think they finish the kick over. Finish the kick over, arms V, crown, releve, soft pose. So your silly hand, your non dominant hand, goes on your hip, L, onto the leotard line, and your happy hand comes close to the shoulder, and then pushes softly forwards. So that ending pose, they do back kick over, finish, crown releve, soft. Okay, so if we put this routine together, it's 
I go wait, wait, wait. Pose, T, point. Mountain climber, cartwheel, step together, backward roll to a push-up position. Knees in, arms up, arms back, and pose. Step, passe, up, down, turn, heel down, step, hug, point. Plie, chasse, leap, step, pose. Crown, arms down, plie. Split jump, arms back down, finish. Mountain climber, handstand, step together, finish. Candlestick, roll up, sit, lie down, bridge, kick over, step together, finish. Crown releve, plie, pose. And that's level two floor routine. If that was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.